Game Studio. Welcome back. This update has a lot of things to cover, but I will cover it as quickly as we can. Let's get into it. First, I'm going to show you that I have this set up. Everything is triggers. Nothing dies, nothing collides. Just goes all through each other. We're going to use the new killable script, as you will see soon, which can use hit points, attack points, prefab replacement, tons of things. So yeah, the first thing we're going to do here is add the killable script to the player. We're going to make him have one hit point, one attack point. This is the explosion that's going to show up if you get to zero hit points from hitting another killable. We'll make it so that he despawns if he reaches zero hit points. Perfect. And only when colliding with certain layers, enemies, and enemy weapons. Now let's take a quick look at that. Ah, I forgot to make the enemies and the enemy weapons killables, so still nothing happens. We'll go ahead and take that first enemy, Fighter 2, and make it a killable. We'll give it a few hit points, so you have to hit it more than once to destroy it. Same explosion. If it goes off the screen, we want it to despawn. And we only want it to get hit by your weapons, that layer, or if it hits you. Apply that to all the fighter twos. Now let's go into what it shoots at you. Make that a killable as well, but we're not going to let you destroy the shot. You're going to have to dodge it. Your weapon will go right through it. This will only register a collision with the player. Now let's do your weapon. We'll give it a killable script. One hit point, one attack point. It's fine for now. Same explosion if it hits anything. Again, we'll do the layer tag filter, just the layer part. If it hits an enemy, it will register a collision. Now let's check that out, see how that's working. I had to hit that guy four times. One hit kills me. Yeah, that works. Now we'll take a look at what it's like when you have a more powerful weapon. Let's say you got an upgraded weapon. Remember the enemy has four hit points, so let's put the attack points on your weapon to five. Now I should kill him in one shot. No problem. That's how easy it is. Now let's go make some changes to the mothership. We'll do a child spawner. Two of them actually. Notice how the mothership spawns 20 guys all from that center point. We're going to make it actually so that it spawns 10 from two different points as child spawners. So first let's make the child spawners, just an empty prefab, which will stick as a child prefab of the mothership. So here let's put it underneath. Then we'll position them where we want them, where we want the ships to spawn out of. Here's the launch bay, right there. Same thing on the other side. Okay, now to actually be a child spawner, they need triggered spawner scripts, just like the parent. Now we need to set up a wave for the same event type, which is visible, that the parent spawner is using. That's how it propagates down from parent to child spawners. It has to match. So here we're going to spawn 10 ships that strafe right from the right launch bay. And on the other spawner, we're going to spawn 10 that strafe left from the left launch bay.
How you get it to function as a child spawner is this drop down here that says trigger source. If it's on self, it's not a child spawner, you need to change it to receive from parent. And then it will not receive, it will not activate the events from itself only when triggered by the parent. Now we're going to go ahead and make the mothership so that it doesn't spawn its own out of its central point, but only out of the child spawners. This checkbox here is how you control if it actually transmits down to the child spawners or not. It's on by default. Now we'll make the mothership killable. We're going to make it pretty tough. It takes 20 hits, 20 hit points anyway. Same explosion prefab. Only your weapons can hit it. And let's also go in to the fighters that it spawns and make those so you can kill them. They need a killable script. These will be weak though. Same explosion. They only can hit your weapons, nothing else. If they go off screen, they despawn. This is the one that strafes right. Same ship though, so the same settings. Let's put your attack points back down to one and let's take a look at how that plays. These guys take a number of hits again. When the mother ship gets here, it will take 20. We'll see if we can take it down or not. Ah, there it goes. Not too tough. You can nest those child spawners as many levels deep as you like. Alright, that worked well. Now we'll look at the concept of world variables. We'll need the level wave settings prefab. Let's go over to the sub node. Starts you with lives. We're also going to add score. And it has settings for whether the value is reset at the beginning of each scene or not. This one causes the end of the game. If it gets to zero lives, game over. So we're gonna make it so when the player is destroyed, you lose a life. Done. Now we'll make it so you get some points score for destroying enemy two. Let's apply that to all of them. This is in the killable script. That's a drop down for all the world variables. Let's add some score for destroying the mothership. A lot more points. Let's do the small ships as well. Just a few points for those, because you can wipe out a lot of them at once. It's not too difficult. Now we're going to add some listeners for each variable. Underneath good, I have empty prefabs. I'm going to put a world variable listener in there. Then I'm going to drag them into the listener blank there on the inspector. Let's check out how that works. Look on the left, I've got a number of lives and score, and they're updating. The listeners get notified every time the value changes. You don't have to check for it constantly, although you can write code that does that. Let's make sure the points for the mothership works. 2000. There it is. I hope you've enjoyed the demo. Please use the forum or email us for more questions or suggestions. Thanks a lot.